I really feel like I need to have an ambulance behind me for all the next we're snapping. So it's, <laughs> it was mine. It was me. <laughs> On our last video, I interviewed Shane Zink with his Formula Drift Dodge Charger that was owned by Sammy Hubenay. So I wanted to find more owners of these like modern day drift cars. Now I came across Jordan Wheeler, the sales development manager for RTR vehicles. And he's gonna talk to us about his Mustang, RTR, where they've been, where they're going, all that good stuff. So let's jump right in. What's going on, Jordan? What's going on, man? How you doing? Dude, thanks for coming out here and taking the time to talk to me about RTR, the Mustang, or where you guys are headed in the future, anything you really want to talk about. So RTR, talk to me. Yeah, so RTR started in 2009. Vaughn Gittin Jr., Formula Jeff Champion, US versus Japan Champion, now Ultra 4 Champion. Uh, in 2005, he started campaigning the Ford Mustang. He got it on his own, went into Formula D with it, started pounding on Ford's door, Monster's door, and he just ended up kicking that door in. And ever since then, we've had a partnership with Ford and Ford Performance. So in 2009, when RTR Vehicles was officially started, he said, you know what? Can I bring that style to America? And that's what he did in the form of the RTR. So our first RTR vehicle rolled out of dealerships into driveways in 2010. Um, since then, we've been building Mustangs. Now we do Bronco, Ranger, F-150. I mean, anything that's cool and people are, are behind, we're gonna be behind it as well. Like with this 10th anniversary RTR spec pod. Okay, so, God, that's a lot of history. That's a lot of lineage. And now there's a lot of ass kicking too. <laughs> Talk to me about the specs. This is a spec five. What does the spec five bring? Okay, so we have different specs. We have our spec one, which is mostly appearance. We have our spec two, which will add in our adjustable suspension. Our spec three, which takes that and then puts a supercharger on it. This here takes it to a whole nother level. This is inspired by our FD drift cars or our spec five FDs. In 2010, Vaughn won his first championship. After that, we roll forward into 2020 and we say, you know what? We want to do something to honor RTR and its heritage for over the last 10 years. So we decided to build 10 Spec 5 10th anniversaries. Each one of them was re-sprayed in lead foot gray. Each customer got to pick their accent color. And then what we did with these is we put on the Ford Performance Supercharger. We upgraded the half shafts on here, which will hold up to 2,000 horsepower. Holy cow. Yeah, we have our adjustable sway bars as well as our coilovers, which have 30 clicks of dampening as well as ride height adjustment. So this thing is meant to go to the track. What, one of our slogans is we, we say that we're redefining the definition of performance. And what it is is everybody knows cars and muscle cars for the horsepower and their straight line speed, but where else can you have fun with them? In the corners, you know, on your daily drives, everywhere else. We wanna make sure that we're building a well-rounded car. So we have the horsepower to go straight line, but we also have the, the suspension handling to hit that into the corners as well. So, and speaking of horsepower, did you say how much horsepower? I didn't. So this has got the phase two supercharger, which has 750 crank horsepower. Holy cow, 750. No wonder you were keeping up with me. <laughs> I was like, oh, must say fast, dude. <laughs> I've seen clips and teasers on the RTR SX 50. So what's that looking like in the future? So S650 is going to be really, really big for us. So by the time everybody sees this, we're going to have unveiled our new liveries for our drivers, which are uh, Adam LZ, Chelsea Denofa, and now James Dean, three-time FD champion. Not just three times, but three times in a row. Right. So we are going to be kicking ass this year in Formula Drift and we're bringing our spec five back to it wide body the thing carbon fiber the, they're pretty sound and i'm as i'm sure everyone has seen by now by now yeah, yeah. super awesome okay i know it's so bad because knowing that people are going to see this in the future and like yeah bro it's already out yeah when <laughs> i filmed this it wasn't out yet so you're excited for that so talking about mustangs so we're here local in the austin area where can people get rtr either parts mustangs working at their, their fill of rtr so what we did is we, we have rtrvehicles.com, but what we wanted to do is there are a lot of people that want to be able to get the whole package straight out the box from their dealer, and they don't want to have to shop around to see best prices and whatnot. So they can actually get it at Lake Johnson Ford and uh, through the Build by RTR program as well right. at Charlotte. But right here locally, they can get them through Leaf Johnson, much like uh, some of our owners have who you've met Isaac before. I have, yes. Yeah, great about this is you have something that's very unique. Each one of these comes serialized. So they're backed by RTR vehicles, but they're actually backed by Ford as well because they're covered by the factory warranty. So you, you can get something like this that's unique to yourself and not have to worry about it down the road. You know, and I don't think, there's not really a lot of other car brands that do something like that, right? There, 
There's Orange not. Power is its own thing, right? Yes, but we have a, uh, a partnership with Ford. We call it a strategic partnership. So all of our vehicles are built off of their CAD data. We help testing like we did with Ford Bronco. So you can rest assured that everything that we've done has gone through a litany of tests to make sure that it's going to be great for not only us, but for any driver that house behind the wheel. Do you do any driving yourself? So I used to drift. I haven't done any drifting in quite some time. Uh, the bank account started, <laughs> started squeezing from the, from the tires. But you know, I do get behind the wheel from time to time. I show people what these cars can do. I love to take it out to road courses or autocrosses to let people see what they can do for it. Because for some people, drifting is a little scary. And especially to you if you're gonna hop out in a brand new car. But there's sports like, you know, autocross and road racing or, you know, take it to Coda. And you can put something like this on the track and you can test yourself and your vehicle. That is so awesome. And real quick, I gotta say this, these tire marks were not us. <laughs> yeah, they were not, not us. These are too skinny. These are what, 350? Uh, so they're a negative 16 offset in the rear to fill this because it's uh, 50 millimeters wider in the front and 75 in the rear. Okay, that's probably in a wide kit. Yeah, yeah. exactly. So those are the fat tires. This was not us, okay? <laughs> we're respectable out here in Austin. Jordan, thank you so much. Thank you. So this is brief, but uh, I think we're gonna see a lot more of RTR and Jordan here in the future lease. No problem, thank you. Hey guys, so that was Jordan Wheeler from RTR. Huge thank you to him again for giving us the information on his RTR 10th anniversary, where RTR has been and where RTR is going. And if you wanna see more on that Formula Drift Dots charger that I mentioned earlier, then definitely check out this video. As always guys, leave a comment below, hit that like button, and don't forget to subscribe. Until next time, peace out.